Even though we're enemies, you and I, I understand the fury that drives you. I was there that day when Sir Gregor crushed your lover's head. I close my eyes. I can hear the sound of Oberyn's skull break. <laughs> the sound of your scream. I never heard a sound like that. I thought that's true love. Oberyn looked beautiful that day, he really did. No one moved like him, no one had such skill with a spear. Even Sir Gregor couldn't stop him. If only he hadn't taunted him. He could have walked away and left poor Sir Gregor to die. But that wasn't your lover's way, was it? Now he's buried somewhere. And here's Sir Gregor stronger than ever. That must be difficult for you. When my daughter was taken from me, my only daughter. Well, you can't imagine how that feels unless you've lost a child. I fed her at my own breast, even though they told me to give her to the wet nurse. I couldn't bear to see her in another woman's arms. I never got to have a mother, but Marcella did. She was mine. And you took her from me. Why did you do that? Now. Your daughter's a beauty too. Those brown eyes. Those lips. Perfect Dornish beauty. I imagine she's your favorite. I know, I know, we're not supposed to have favorites. But still, we're only human. We love whom we love. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. The gag makes it impossible to understand what you're saying. It must be frustrating. We all make our choices. You chose to murder my daughter. You must have felt powerful after you made that choice. Do you feel powerful now? I don't sleep very well. Not at all, really. I lie in bed and I stare at the canopy and imagine ways of killing my enemies. How to destroy Ilaria Sand, the woman who murdered my only daughter. I thought about having Sir Gregor crush your skull the way he did Oberyn's. It would be poetic, I suppose, but fast, too fast. I thought about having him crush your daughter's skull. She's so beautiful. I thought of this lovely face cracking open like a duck egg. No, it's just not right. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Kyburn, he is the cleverest man I know. Clever enough to learn what poison you used to murder Marcella. A long goodbye, was that it? A long farewell. That's the one. How long does the poison take? Difficult to say. Hours, days. It depends on the subject's constitution. But death is certain. Oh, yes. Quite certain. Your daughter will die here in this cell. And you will be here watching when she does. You'll be here the rest of your days. If you refuse to eat or force food down your throat, you will live to watch your daughter rot, to watch that beautiful face collapse to bone and dust. All the while contemplating the choices you've made. Make sure the guards change the torches every few hours. I don't want her to miss a thing. <laughs>